For more, we welcome in our CSUNBayArea.com senior insider, Ray Ratto. All right, Ray, you described the hiring of the Lynch-Shanahan tandem as an amazing gamble. So what are the chances this works out, and what's the payout if Jed York does, in fact, get lucky? I'd say if it, if it works out 5%, and the payout is that Jed stops being called an emissary of Satan by 49er fans. <laughs> the problem here is that it's a reach on top of a reach with no underpinning uh, to support it right now. Um, unlike Matt Millen, who inherited a 9-7 and seven team and then hired a coach that didn't work out as the start of his disastrous tenure in Dent, Detroit, and unlike John Elway, who inherited a decent team, uh, made a few tweaks on it, most notably Peyton Manning, and had a great defense to, to build around, the cupboard here is really bare, both organizationally and on the field. So that you're asking a first-time head coach and a general manager who's never worn a suit in an office in his life to fix all that. And if, the, if they're going to let him... They're going to let them both have the six years that they're talking about. Maybe this works, but I don't like the chances just because too many things have to happen just so and right away for it to work. Yeah, this is certainly a huge rebuild project. Now, you mentioned John Elway. Some have suggested the Niners are copying the Denver Broncos formula for, for success with Elway as the player turned executive. But is there really any precedent for York's decision making right now? Well, I mean, other other former players have you know have done this. So Ozzie Newsom's been wildly successful in Baltimore. Uh, you know, there are a lot of players who have you know elevated themselves to this position, but they all had jobs in the front office before. Uh, Elway's the only one who jumped right into right into general managership, but he had a going concern when he got there. And also there was a there was an ownership flux in Denver because Pat Bolin was getting ill and loved Elway beyond all, you know, beyond all rationality. What, what's different here is that John Lynch and Jed York had no history together. Um, it's, it's just sort of a, this is an outside the box hire and Jed loves to make those. And I think John Lynch just basically captivated him at the interview and Jed fell for him. It's as simple as that to me. Yeah, and you think, obviously, John Lynch played for Mike Shanahan, Kyle's brother, so there's, or father, so there's definitely a connection there. But Well, uh, between the coach and general manager, sure. But yeah. I don't see that that automatically means that Mike Shanahan is going to be the next hire. I just think more likely than anything else, John, John Lynch, who is smart and articulate, uh, just charmed the pants right off Jed York and, you know, won the interview. And if you win the interview with Jed York, very often you get the, you get the job because that's how Mike, Mike Singletary got his. And I'm pretty sure that's how Jim Harbaugh got his. Yeah, well, if we've learned anything about Jed York, it's to never be surprised. Ray Ratto, our senior insider, thanks.